Hey guys, it's um, me again. Uh, of course, you know who I am. Um, I'm going to be running through a little piece of software I found out on the internet. It's called GPU-Z. It's similar to CPU-Z, but for some reason, which I like it, it only works in the graphics card. You can see I have two right now. Um, see as you can change. Gives you all the information you would uh, most likely need. It gives you the sensors of the clock speed, the fan speed, the load. You can run it in the background. You can log to a file, you know. You can, uh, you know, send in comments, whatever you want. Alright, but, um, it gives you the name of the card, the graphics uh, processor on the card. You know, the BIOS version, the release date, you know, just stuff. Maybe 40 shaders. The pixel fill rate is 2.6 uh, gigapixels, I believe that stands for. Uh, giga t uh, textures. DDR2 RAM, 64 bit. Bandwidth is 7.9 gigabits per second, which is pretty good. Uh, 256 card, um, 648 megahertz GPU clock. 650 is default. Probably gonna overclock this later tomorrow. Has DirectX 10. It's full PCIe X16 at X16 speed. Um, my second card is. Uh, uh, an older version of it. As you can see, it's PCIe X16 at X1 speed. It is a PCI card with a PCIe crossover. It's a pretty good card, though, for older computers. Still DDR2. 256 megabyte RAM. Bandwidth has been almost cut in half. Almost. 4.2 gigabytes per second. Still 64 bit. Only DirectX 9 has 40 pixel and two vortex shaders. Get uh, 1.8 gigapixels for the pixel fill rate. 1.8 giga texture fill rate. Running at a much lower speed. And the memory is running at a much lower speed. All right. Um. You know. I usually use this for the sensors because you know you know how it's running you know the speed on it the temperature keep everything cool kind of running a little bit hot right now all right thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye